As we already said, there are some existing tools to handle authentication variables in major operating systems. Uh, usually regular users do not touch UFI authenticated variables, but for firmware developers and security researchers, authenticated variables are very important, mostly because authenticated variables provide and help maintain information about UFI secure boot status and keys and uh, signatures. Default implementation of UFI uh, authenticated variables in EDK2 I use system management mode as a trusted execution environment, uh, which in theory should provide isolated, uh, more secure environment for updating and creation of the variables. Of course, this, uh, this assumes that uh, uh, system management mode improves security. In the past, there were some examples of vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities detected in system management mode, what essentially leads to situation that in which uh, default EDK2 implementation have to be adjusted uh, to given design needs. Default way uh, that UFI authenticated variables are handled is it have to be supported by, by some hardware features. So if we want to leverage this SMM uh, part, we should have some hardware features. So for example, in Intel chipset, uh, th there is a bit that uh, denies flash access by, by software. This bit was uh, described in other uh, OST2 lecture. Uh, this is uh, BIOS write protect protection disable or BIOS write enable. In addition to that, uh, there is EISS a bit which allows access to SPI flash only in system management mode. Uh, so only with this EISS, which, which is enabled in SMM SDS, um, the UFI authenticator, authenticated uh, variables uh, implementation in EDK2 can provide discussed uh, protection. Uh, plat platform um, builders and firmware developers should, should ensure that by any means um, that uh, necessary mechanism, the, the necessary hardware protection mechanism uh, exist uh, in the hardware on which we're trying to store UFI vari variables. Um, in case of most x86 platforms, uh, there is there is SPA controller which already have required protection, but of course variables can also use different storage, which we discussed earlier. And in that case, and especially in the case when we use different architecture, those hardware protection, additional hardware protection mechanisms should be checked. Authenticated variables provide, prevent only OS level modifications. Uh, so to protect, protect against uh, physical access, uh, we, we need to have some additional mechanism and this, we discussed some of those uh, additional hardware protection mechanism at the beginning of, of this section. Also, please note that uh, UFI variables do not provide confidentiality. So in regular UFI authenticated variables uh, described and implemented according to UFI specification do not provide confi confidentiality. In general, content of the variable can be read by anyone but only written by and updated by the owner of the uh, private key. In case of situation when confidential, confidentiality is important, we should use a user or platform key encrypted variables. Those were discussed earlier in this section and those typically require some uh, CSME, TPM or, or some hardware security module uh, to be supported.